G'day, g'day, and welcome. My name's Jim. Today we're going to be reviewing the Reboost RB Pro 1500 Jump Starter. Okay, so the uh, the Reboost Jump Starter comes as is. It is valued at $140 retail AU. AU. What the fuck am I saying? AU, Australian. In America, you want to halve that, so it'd be about 70 bucks. Supposedly, it comes with some pretty good features. It uh, says it'll start up to a 7 litre petrol engine or a 5 litre diesel engine. It says it's ultra safe to use. It says it use can as a, you can use it as a power bank, as a LED flashlight in it. Wow, now we're really fucking pushing the envelope. Um, and uh, it also has a digital meter, so it sounds pretty cool. Let's open it up and have a look, shall we? Actually, let's just... Let's have a look on the box and see what it says. Pretty much says output, outputs for the quick charging because it has a couple of USBs there. Uh, a uh, 5 volt 3 amp, 9 volt 2 amp, 12 volt 5.1 amp. Has a uh, other USB charger which is 5 volt 2.1. So you can charge your tablets and stuff off there which is pretty cool. Uh, it has a USB type C which is really cool. Uh, 5 volt 3 amps. It has a DC out at 12 volt, 10 amps, and has a wireless charger at 10 watts, which is that bit there. So that's not uh, not really huge at 10 watts. It's going to take quite a long time to charge your phone, but I don't know. It's still pretty cool, I guess. Uh, it says it's uh, starting current up to uh, 750 amps, peak current 1500 amps. It uh, runs at 12 volts, it reckons it'll do a thousand cycles, and then it's got the dimensions. And then it's just got written down here what it contains, contains the unit, contains a jump starter cable, contains a power adapter, contains a USB type C, it contains a cigarette lighter socket, a handheld protective case, oh excuse me I've got indigestion. Well, edit that bit out, probably not. Uh, the user manual and a warranty card. It says it is guaranteed for two years with a replacement warranty. Um, and yep, that's about it. So um, let's uh, let's crank this bitch open, shall we? And uh, and have a look what we got. It's a fairly sort of nice sort of container there. Okay, nothing else in the box, Look, nothing in the container, nothing there, and I pull a rabbit out. No, no rabbit. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good case, it's a hard case. It's not too bad, actually. It's got the model, it's got 1600 milliamps on there for some reason, but it says 1500, but anyway. This is the seven liter, seven liter petrol or five liter diesel, and uh, that's about it. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? See what we've got. Well, that's pretty cool. You've got a little flappy thing there to protect the actual unit itself. Yeah. Oh, it's friggin' heavy. It feels pretty good in the hand. It doesn't feel cheap. It's not bad. Let's sit that down there and let's have a look at what they gave us. Okay, so we've got the uh, the clamps that go onto the batteries. I tell you what, it couldn't be too many amperages because that's a pretty friggin' thin cable. And considering my jumper cables are like, you know, that fucking round. Um, yeah, I can't imagine it's going to have too many friggin' amperages pumping through there. But uh, right there is a little LED voltage meter that actually comes up and tells you what uh, what voltage your battery is at. And what else have we got in here? Uh, we've got a wall charging plug. Goes into USB-A. If I can get the cut back in there again, right. And that comes out at uh, USB-C which is used to charge the unit up with right there I am guessing you can also use a, uh, a normal 12 volt adapter plug there as well and that's it there there you go if 
from the uh, cigarette lighter. Although, I oh know, you can actually use it as a cigarette lighter connection plug. Okay. Cool, so it might come in handy when you're camping or something like that. I wouldn't particularly run a fridge or anything off it, but yeah. Okay, let's put that aside. Now, let's press the button here. What do we got? It says 100%, but one of the LEDs looks like it's gone out. Uh, there's a light. Yep. SOS. Not sure how many people know how to fucking read Morse code these days and they saw a flashing light, they'd probably think it was God knows what. This bit here is where your car connection clicks in, which is this bit here. And put him on there. There we go. As our readout, 12.4 volts. One thing that is fairly coolish about this is that it actually goes back in its container. A lot of these things that once you pull the bastards out, you can't get them back in again. So how would I rate this? I'd rate this probably 9 out of 10, I think. I charged it up fully. I stuck it under the seat of the car. Waited till the battery had gone flat. It had been in there for about a month, I suppose, with a fully charged battery. And then I pulled it out and used it and it started my V8 first go. Not a problem at all. Uh, I was very happy with it. I've charged my phone off it. Um, not with the uh, the wireless charging though. I've, I've charged it off through the, um, through the USBs. In fact, I've started my car twice off this. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's I think it's really good. Um, 140 bucks is it worth the money? Yeah, I reckon it is. It's pretty good. So if you're looking for a charger, a crank starter, then that one's not too bad. Pretty happy with it. All right. Well, that's the go. Look, if you've got one of these and uh, you're willing to let us uh, know what you think of it, then please comment below. Alright boys and girls, well if you haven't already feel free to subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Be good, stay safe and we'll see you around like a Rissol Trendsetters. Play the music. Techno, techno.